What are they models for exactly? Whereas Dee's model remains, to some extent, inscrutable, Mather's appropriation of it applies specific, recognizable traits in a specific, logically patterned, and, when finished, symmetrical order. In my own extrapolations on this model, I have compiled traits from all now known ancient systems of divination and timekeeping Vedic, Babylonian, Egyptian, Chinese, and Mayan. So we have Dee's Enochian, Mather's Neo Enochian, and my own Atlantean calendar models. Again, while Dee presents the four watchtowers in his work as being nebulously based on the cardinal directions surrounding the Earth, Mather's model is more explicitly applicable to the raw elements of physical reality and how they recombine over time. And, just so, my own Atlantean calendar takes this notion of recombining the elements in a repeating cycle into another level. So, from my own researcher's perspective, it appears to me that this model represents a means of measuring long-term repetitions in a highly detailed collection of elemental traits, but that, to the extent this model is perfectly symmetrical and apparently unalterable, that is to say, it is, in its final form, done, it seems to indicate it is an expression only of a completely closed and therefore predetermined system. In other words, if this model of the four watchtowers is meant to be read as a calendar with 12, sub with 12 subquadrants surrounding four central subquadrants corresponding to the 12 zodiac signs in the four seasons, then it seems to describe a reality in which the constituent elements are rearranged in a single progression over and over in perpetuity without modification, evolution, or even entropic decay. Surely this does not reflect the reality of the universe we see around us today, any more so than Kepler's Harmonia Mundi, Music of the Heavenly Spheres, posited, positing the nesting of the local planetary orbits according to the ratios of the nested platonic solids, accurately reflected the real inverse square law that determines their orbital radii some 400 years ago. In short, if the four watchtowers of Enochian magic are taken, as in the basis for Neo-Enochian, as a skeletal framework on which to arrange the basic four elements, and this model does, at its full extent, symbolize a form of calendar describing the 6,000-year-long seasons of the 2,000-year-long aeons, what we, would conveniently, what we would conventionally call the Ice Age cycle of 48,000 years, it does so in a way that is more permanent than the conditions on Earth it is describing. So, for example, it seems impossible to trace the Younger Dryas ending event to a specific location on this map of time, because it appears to have happened at a random time within this longer, somewhat more fixed cycle of the hemispheric ice ages. Likewise, with volcanic eruptions, such as Thera and Toba, that appear to happen at off times or randomly relative to the exact arrangements of elements predicted for any given date. In other words, the reliability of this model to make accurate predictions about future or even past realities remains fallible in the fact of unpredictable events. Succinctly, this whole trend appears to be toward restructuring a synthetic map of time 